Y'all just chilling. Yeah. Oh. Wow. That was rude. What did you do that for, man? That was rude. Yeah, you better go. I wouldn't go play with him. He's a not very nice. Hey, um, let's go harvest something. I've got cucumbers and um, squash, yellow squash, probably just one of those. And there might be some tomatoes. But I got my basket. I got my scissors. The sun's shining bright. I'm still, I got to water here in a little bit. But I want to go ahead and get everything picked before I water. Let's do this. See that mole? Let me show you another one. There's another one. It's gifts from these cats. Thing that I've noticed though, yesterday for the first time, if you step on one, it makes a gross whistling <laughs> sound. Yeah. Not something I want to ever do again. I was on my way to water and hit one. Mm. Glad they kill them, but wish they'd take them away. You know, I've also noticed that they'll lay there until I throw them in the burn barrel. The cats don't eat them and the chickens don't eat them. I find that very odd because they'll eat mice and rats and even snakes. They'll eat snakes, but they don't eat moles. If you know why, let me know, because I, I find that very odd that they'll kill them but not eat them. I wanted to show you my aloe vera. This is the same aloe vera that I had in my hoop house, and it dropped down into the 60s one night. And when it did, um, I thought it had killed it. The whole plant turned that, that color right there, kind of a pale sickly almost a pinkish tan um i left it out there thinking it was a goner it got in the 90s one day and i remembered that i had a aloe vera out there i thought oh no if it is alive it's dead now but i wanted to go check when i did i noticed that there was a little hint of green just down in the bottom and so I brought it out here, gave it a little bit of a drink because it was really dry. Um, and this is how it is a month later. I think it's, it's pulled through. Um, it's repairing. All of these were damaged. All of these were horrible. Like I said, a pinkish tan color and, and mushy to the touch. And it has repaired them because I didn't cut them off. This one... I have considered cutting off, but see how it's greening up? I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave it. It may not put it on any babies because it's busy repairing itself, but I'm okay with that. I don't care if it doesn't put on babies. But yeah, I thought that was just pretty cool. Aloe vera. I posted earlier about doing a cucumber drink. Um, you put the cucumbers in in your blender. You fill it up with cuc sliced cucumbers. And you blend it. And then you strain it. And add um, water and sugar and salt. I thought, well, that might be really good. Look at this one I missed. I'm going to go ahead and pick it. It may be bitter, but I want to go ahead and pick it. Problem is, if you don't pick your cucumbers and your squash, then they that's their goal, set seed. 
and uh, they get some big ones on there and they'll quit making new ones. So you need to pick pretty often. I think that's all I can reach out here. There is one on the inside that we'll go in there and get. Cause I gotta get that yellow squash too, but I wanna make sure since I missed that one. Got a delicata squash. See it? Right in the middle. Um, I'm gonna give it a couple more days. Something went flying in there. I don't know if it was a snake. I think it was a lizard. Probably that same, that same little skank that hangs out or was hanging out in this garden. And there's our squash that I wanna pick. I don't really like when they get naughty. That's just a personal preference because I like to fry them. I like them tender. I like the skin to be tender. So about that big. Um, that other one I'm gonna leave for now. Here's one that, here's one that didn't get pollinated. See how it shriveled up. Yep, no pollination. All right, it's kind of warm. Kind of warm out here. Let's see. That one can wait another day or so. I know, there it is. I was gonna say, I know that we seen one from the other side. had to find it. This is a madhouse again. Um, I'm going to have to prune everything again just so the pollinators can get to it. But that's all we'll pick in here. I'm not getting as many squash as I thought I would get. Kind of disappointing. Any other time I plant that many, they'd be running out my ears. Let's see, there's one, two, three yellow squash in there and two delicata squash. Over here is, it's a cucumber and a delicata squash mixed together and I've yet to get a squash off of it. And it's all the way up to there. I'm going to have to, I guess I'm going to have to hand pollinate this one. I see boy blooms. Well, can't pollinate if y'all, you got the boy blooms. And that looks like all we got right now. Our boy blooms. Now there's a female bloom right there but it's not ready and there's one right there and it's not ready either so soon that's why it's not making squash those just growing just growing boys kind of like me got me a granddaughter now though watch out What is that? Is that a stink bug, squash bug? Mm, I hope not. He looked kind of big and dark to be one, but most likely is. My luck. My luck. Yeah, I wanted to see if there was any ground cherries. one ground chairs they fall they fall off when they're ready to be eat and uh, don't pick them off the off the plant 
you pick them off the ground and then they'll be that color this is aunt molly's um they remind me they have a tomato flavor to them but also uh a hint of orange i know some people say pineapple um i i'm saying a lot of oh, i'm sorry it's to me it's it's not pineapple it's orange it's like uh watered down orange juice at at the end i was i was surprised at that Jay likes them. He says they taste different every time he tries one. Canyon didn't care for them. He said they taste like a tomato too much and then have that funny aftertaste. So he, he didn't care for them. <laughs> Mosquitoes. All right, let's see this squash. Now it's got that's a delicata. See, that's a female bloom. Pretty big one. Um, she might have been pollinated to be that size. We'll see. If she opens in the morning, I'll go ahead and pop, make sure she's pollinated. I want to look down further. There's boy blooms. But no fruit that I've missed. All right, let's go in here. I don't know if there's any tomatoes to pick or not. They tend to ripen pretty quick though, Come starting now. I cut a bunch of the black dragons up. We had tacos and I cut black dragons up to go on them. They were really good. Spider web, sorry. I don't wanna walk in it but I just destroyed your work. All right, let's see. I'm gonna leave that one another day. I know there was one on this early girl the other day, shining. See it? Let's reach in there, let's see if we can't get it. I accidentally broke a vine, I hate doing that. go a bunch of them are blushing just not ready to be picked there's another good size BHN Costaludo Florentino is got red here and there I'm anxious to try them and it has a few, nothing major. Just here and there, it's got some. Hopefully it'll stay alive long enough to bear them. This is that Tarski uh, Jubimay, and it looks better today. I, I don't know why, because <laughs> I thought it was a goner. It actually does look a lot better today, so I'm gonna just I guess water it good. But they're a little bit scalloped, a pretty one. I picked one when it was about this color and brought it in the house. It's almost an orange. Uh, I brought it in to go ahead and ripen up and see what it would do. I want I, I, I don't know anything about it really. So this, uh, let me get out of the sun. The Jersey Devil is a little better. Not much. Black dragon, and there's no hope. It's got maybe a couple of green leaves on it, but nothing to amount to anything. And this Cherokee better hurry up and ripen because he doesn't have much either. That Cherokee has a couple of branches that's died on it as well. Well, we'll pick what we can. We'll can what we can. <laughs>